Alrighty, in this video, we are simply going over all of GPT. We're gonna go over for the features. We're gonna go over how you even just sign in and where to go. This is for the people that haven't really dove into GPT too much. This will get you a great understanding so that you can take advantage of this extremely powerful tool that we're using. And I know you've heard of it, it's time to do it. All right, so now we're gonna pull up chatgpt.com. I will have a link in the description, but just pulling it up, we can get started. So opening screen is gonna look a little bit almost like a Kind of like a Google, this is the main hub. We are gonna sign in. You get a little bit more features when you have a pro version, and I do, but you can get started right now. So what we're gonna do is simply go into the bottom. We're gonna hit log in. If you haven't ever used ChatGPT, you're gonna sign up. I like to log in using Google, so you can do the same thing. Like I said, I already have an account, but this is where you would log in. You might need to even verify your email, so just make sure you check over there to verify, and then you'll log in. So real quick, Quick, a couple differences is so now that I'm on the new ChatGPT 4.0, which is so awesome. We're gonna have a whole video just about 4.0, but I'm on the pro version, so don't be freaked out if you don't see that. Okay, now moving on to the left, real quick, you see a bunch of stuff in here. If you've never used ChatGPT before, you're actually not gonna see any of this. These are my personal GPTs that I will have links for, but my GPTs and all the different threads I've had. So this will be the history, but I'll come back over this later. And we're right back to the middle. This is where you're going to type everything in. We also have on the left, this is where you're going to be able to upload different documents to GPT. So like those PDFs and CSV files, we'll get into that a little bit later as well. But this is where you would do it, just showing off kind of this front screen. All right, moving up top right, this is simply where you're going to see your settings and all that. So you can go to my plan, change GPT plans. Maybe you want to go pro, maybe you want to get rid of pro. You can see all your GPTs, whole separate video on those, but we will dive into it a little bit on this video. And then this is where you would customize your GPTs. And then we'll dive into settings here in a bit as well and what you can kind of change. So let's go back to this beginning part and let's actually test out what it is like to actually do a new chat. So like I said, if you already had something here or if you wanted to start a fresh one, you're gonna go up to this top left. You'll click new chat up here. I already have one open, but it would open a fresh one right like this. All right, let's do a quick example real quick. Show you how this actually works. So what is the weather today in Austin. ChatGPT 4.0, like I said, is the new one and it is so fast and it has the power of the internet and all that. So now that we have the answer popped up today in Austin, your weather is hot. <laughs> yes, it is the 101. If y'all haven't been to Texas, it is brutal, but gives you a good answer. I like about the new GPT too, is it shows where it pulled the information from. So one of my biggest gripes with GPT is you never have resources and know where everything is coming from. So now you do, it's really nice. You can click these and it'll take you over to where the information was pulled from. Super cool. All right, let's move on though. This isn't a video and too detailed. So we're just kind of going over everything. So a couple things down here, you can have it read you allow. This is a new version. It's got text to speech. Sometimes you want to just listen to things. What I really like to do sometimes as well is I'll have a big response kind of talking over main points or maybe I'll have it summarize something. You can hit read aloud and then it'll generate. In Austin, the weather is mostly sunny and extremely hot with a high near 101 degree brief hour. It's pretty good. All right, so moving along, let's talk about the next features down here. Simply copy, this will copy this whole entire page right here on any information you have within this chat. Then you're gonna take that, you can move it into a different LLM, maybe put it in an email, do whatever you want with that information. It's just an easy way to copy it instead of just highlighting and come and see. Moving over, regenerate, maybe you didn't like the wording, maybe you, know, you just wanna see it again from a different perspective, maybe you know anything like that. You can just have it simply regenerate it. Here's an example of that. It's gonna be pretty much the same, same, but different. Every time you do a request to an LLM or you know GPT, it always gives you a slightly different answer. It's one of the pros of having a GPT is it's always different, it's always new. So the big difference between the first one and the second one, the first part seems pretty much the same, but I like how it added this part. Maybe it was like, oh, maybe he wants it to regenerate because he wants a little bit more information. So it's important to take precautions due to this high heat, stay hydrated. You know, Cool, thanks GBT. I didn't know how to handle outside, so that's good. And then what you can do too, is you'll get prompted to see, hey, do you like this better? Do you hate it? Is it the same? So you can tell GPT if you like this response more or less, and then from now on, it's gonna remember that and tailor its responses based on your input. Really, really cool, really powerful. All right, so we're just gonna say same, great job. 
if you just don't like the response at all and you want to completely redo it, hit bad response. It's kind of the same as that. And then if you want to maybe see what it does with a different model, every model has its own flair, benefits, and cons. So you could test it out with something else. So maybe let's try GPT-4 Smart. Again, it's going to regenerate it based on a different LLM. On right, perfect. Great job, great job, GPT. And then on the left here, if scrolling back, when you regenerate or you use different LLMs, you can always click on this arrow and go back and you can see the different versions as well, which is super nice. And just in case maybe you did like that first version, you didn't save it, go back, there you go. Okay, so now that you've kind of played around with this, let's take a look over here on this left. We got a column that's calling your name. These are gonna be your chat GP keys. So these are custom you know, models built around your preferences. You can put data in it. We're gonna go into a lot more detail on what GPTs are, how we use them. They're so awesome and we have so many ones that we get to share to you guys and you can just add yourself and they just streamline a lot of the processes. So you don't have to be, you know, clarifying what kind of response format, what information it should be utilizing. These are gonna be GPTs. So I have a couple basic ones. So one that helps me with my YouTube channel. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna go into these, but one of the fun ones we'll get into is David Goggins. So like this is my workout GPT. So it's tailored to just me and how I like to work out and it creates workouts. So that's where you would activate these. You simply click on them, it'll show up. And then you can say like, give me my workout. And then I have a whole GPT, you know, built around Goggins and how he would build a workout. And that's where this will do it. So you can switch between them super fast. So which is fun too is say, maybe you have a, a note condenser. So take in a whole transcript, condense it into notes, and then you can feed it into something else like a, a blog post writing GPT then that GPT will take that and then turn it into a block. And you just have to click between them, copy, paste. It makes it super fast. So then these are my GPTs and the ones you can edit, but then you also have a whole GPT store. So this is where anyone in the world can put their GPTs up and you can use them. So a lot of them are pretty advanced. Some of them are pretty simple, but you can go through here. Um, yeah, I really don't use other people's GPTs too much just because once you know how to make them yourself, it's just better to tailor them to what you want, but yeah. You want to productivity you know all that kind of stuff they have categories and if you've never really used them before it's a great place because maybe you just search in a use case and you know someone's already made it for you and it'll help save you some time all right moving back over on this left side of this list these are going to be all my different gpt like threads that i've created throughout the week so maybe you have a long thread and you're building something out uh, you want to move something else, but then go back. This is where it would be. So you can see which ones I worked on yesterday, today, previous days. Super easy. Just goes back. So like that workout plan I just made. Oh my gosh, I'm at the gym now. I want to actually look at it. Here we go. And then this also all syncs with the mobile app. So don't worry about that. So say I built this all out of my computer because I like using my computer on ChatGBT, but then I have the workout on my phone when I get to the gym, just open the app and that thread will be there. Alrighty, so let's go back to a new chat because I want to show you one of the coolest and biggest features about ChatGBT. Also, besides everything I've already listed. So at the bottom here, you're going to be able to upload from your computer. You can upload a lot of different things that includes CVS files for data. You can export like a Google Sheets or whatever and put that into here for data analysis or trends or maybe just ask questions, but then you can also do that on PDFs and everything else. So real quick, I wanna show you an example on the power of this. I recently just did a video gig with a client and so I have a PDF of our contract. So what you're gonna do is from your desktop, the easiest way would just to be drag it in here. This pops up as this, add anything. You can even add multiple files at once, but this is a PDF. All right, so now I have the contract uploaded here. All right, so maybe you can ask a question about it. I already know what it's about, but let's just say you didn't, you know. What is this contract about? So boom, ba 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 ba, shows a film gig, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and so it'll break down your whole entire contract. So like I said, this is my contract, so I already know all this stuff, but Maybe you had some extra questions. Maybe it's a really big legal document. Put it in here and then you can ask questions. It's really cool. So then you can do even different things so it knows all this kind of stuff. Maybe say, create me a schedule for the day. Oh, I don't know how to spell. 
create me a schedule for the day. So boom, so it knows based on all the times throughout that PDF, it's gonna say, hey, here you go. Let's build out the time. So maybe it gives me even time to travel there, awesome. So I'm not gonna dive too much more into this, but it's just a quick example on how you can upload different documents and put it in. All right, so now we're gonna go to the top right. Let's do some settings. My plan, I have the $20 a month premium. This is what gets you access to the new 4.0. I absolutely recommend y'all getting this. Talk about memory for a second. So memory and personalization, this is super important. ChatGPT has a memory feature that helps it remember information about you across different sessions. This can include your preferences, frequently asked questions, and more. You can personalize this memory to ensure GPT gives you more tailored responses. You can review, update, and delete stored information anytime you want with these settings. So like when I open a new chat, it always knows that my name is Matthew. If I say, just help me write an email real quick saying I want to meet on Tuesday, it's already going to know all that stuff, which is cool. And then, like I said, you can manage it and see what it's remembered. I don't want you guys to really go through all my memories, but that's where it'd be. You can get rid of memories. You can add memories. Super powerful. This is something that allows GPT to just get better and better over time the more you use it. All right, and that pretty much wraps it up, everyone. I have taken you through from literally how to log in to every different feature throughout the whole UI. This is basic level. I'm going to have bigger, better videos, more detailed coming soon. We have a full school course, S-K-O-O-L, if you want to ask us questions and have more detailed you know, explanations on everything. With that being said, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Go use GPT. Take it to the next level. Using everything. Peace.